history was made in Cedar Park overnight as a lander from Firefly Aerospace successfully touched it down on the moon's surface. KXAN science reporter Eric Henriksen brings us more. Good morning. Blue Ghost 1 touched down on the lunar surface at 2.30 on Sunday morning. Firefly Aerospace employees, NASA administrators, and VIPs were all here in Cedar Park to witness the event. If you can imagine feeling every possible motion all at once, um, that's, that's about what it felt like. You know, somewhere, somewhere pigging the spectrum on, you know, extreme anxiety and extreme joy all, all in one moment. <laughs> Now this landing made history. It's the first successful lunar landing by a private company. Previous attempts either ended early or with some issues. Just see it go so well and just like so succinctly, you know, leading up to landing. It's, it's, a, it's a really incredible feeling. Over the next two weeks, multiple experiments will be conducted aboard the lunar lander, concluding with the first attempt to capture images of a lunar sunset. After two weeks, night will fall and the mission will end. We will attempt to reconnect after the lunar night. I will say we are not required to and we don't expect to. Um, that the lander and the avionics were not des designed to survive the lunar night, but we might as well try. Firefly Aerospace plans to launch additional lunar landers every year. The next one will launch in 2026. In Cedar Park, I'm Eric Henriksen.